Today, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own block plane, and we're gonna break some rules and have some fun. Today's video is sponsored by Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. The block plane I've been using in my videos is this little guy right here that I made from a Hawk Tools kit. We'll go over that kit later on at the end of the video because it's really highly recommended. Basically, I'm going to make one of these, but a little bit bigger using a, a larger blade. So this is actually a, a, a blade for a smoothing plane. Rhett, if you're watching, thank you. For the wood, we're going to use this exotic piece of coconut palm. A lot of you are already typing in the comments, you can't use coconut palm. It's basically sand, it's gonna fall apart. It's no good, it's gonna dull your blades. You're gonna get splinters, it's blah, 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 blah. Let's just put that aside for a little bit and have some fun, okay? Can we do that? Is it cool if we just have a little bit of fun and use some coconut palm in a, in a hand plane? Thank you. Oh, and you know what? And I'm pretty sure this is not called a blade. I'm pretty sure it's called an iron. Can we just have some fun? Is it cool if we just have fun in this video? Guys, gals, guys, we're just gonna have fun today. Even if we get the terminology wrong, even if this thing doesn't even turn out, we're just gonna have some fun. It's cool, let's have fun. So, going to plane this piece of wood down so it's just a little bit wider than the block iron. But if he uses the wrong terminology, there's gonna be a whole generation of kids out there who are gonna be completely All right, so I changed my mind. I'm not going to plane this down. I'm actually just going to flip it on its side and run it through the table saw to get the thickness that I want here. Why use a planer if you don't have to? So first I'm just going to clean up one side, move the fence over, and then cut it to width. So while we're still over here at the table saw, I'm gonna cut two thin strips that's going to go along the side of the plane that we'll glue together later. Using the micro jig gripper is great for cutting thin strips. So now I've set the angle of my table saw blade at 45 degrees. I'm gonna cut the first angle here on the plane. This is the side of the plane that the iron will sit against. So now we're gonna cut the other angle at the front of the blade and this angle is 60 degrees. So now we have the three pieces of the plane. Now we have to drill a hole through the two outside pieces and put a dowel through there. That'll allow us to wedge the iron to the back of the plane. All right, so now we're ready to glue this up. Uh, so I'm gonna stick my dowel in this first piece here. I want it to come out the side just a little bit. And I'm gonna take my blade bevel side down up against here and just let that fall until it hits my bench. I'm gonna bring this other piece in here until it touches that. So then I wanna find the proper distance to have this dowel away from the blade. We just need to get a little wooden wedge in there. So I don't know, what is that? A quarter of an inch space in there. And then next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the blade out and this front piece, I'm gonna knock it in just a little bit. That way the blade doesn't go all the way to the table and we'll actually file that away after the glue up. So I'm just going to take a pencil here and mark a couple lines for our alignment. Now, I know real plane makers are getting very anxious to leave me comments here because normally they would use dowels uh, as pins for alignment. But we're just going to glue this up and try to make sure all of our 
pencil marks are aligned and then we will sand away any blemishes that we need to in a later step. Just using yellow make something glue. Remember, we're just having fun. Even if this isn't how real plane makers make their planes, we're just having fun. And it's probably going to work. And if it doesn't work, we're just having fun. Also, I'd like to mention that we're just having fun, okay? We are having fun. Those who leave nasty comments in the comment section down below, they're not having fun. And they're not welcome because you and I, we're having fun. We don't want those negative people not having fun over here on our fun channel. Am I right? All right. Get this guy glued up. Double confirming that's hidden wood down there. I'm gonna confirm here that we're nice and flat on the bottom. There'll be less sanding later. Boy, that's a lot of clamps. Do you really need all those clamps? I don't know. I'm just having fun. I'm just having fun. Can I have some fun? This channel is all about having fun. We make mistakes. We post our fail videos. We have fun. That's what this channel's about. All right, so I'm gonna let this dry for about an hour and a half. We'll be back. In the meantime, make a sandwich. So now we're gonna flatten the bottom. I have this adhesive back sandpaper. I love this stuff. Really use it all the time. I'm gonna use my table saw table because it's nice and flat and sand this down. I mean, basically besides a little bit of work on the throat here, uh, it's, it's done. So now we're just going to draw a pleasing shape that'll feel good in the hands. I think I want the butt end, not sure what the actual term is, to come down like this. And then we'll, maybe it'll scoop down here. I mean, I'm not coming up with anything new. This is, this is a classic plain shape. Uh, Krenoff, I believe. And that might even be too big, but I'm gonna go cut this out, take a look at it, and then refine if I need to. And back over here at the bandsaw, I'm gonna cut out a wedge. Now you can sharpen the blades using the, your favorite method. Make sure the back is flat. Before we finish, I wanna remind you that I have a cutting board book coming out later this year. All my $2 plus Patreon members will get their name printed in the book as a thank you. I don't know what the deadline is yet, but I know it's coming up very soon. So if you want your name printed in the book, head on over to patreon.com slash Pachudo. Be sure to subscribe because I put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday, and I put out a third video over on my second channel called Make Something Too. And recently we put out a video on how much YouTubers make, and if you are a YouTuber, what to charge for a sponsored video. Actual numbers, people, real numbers. If you're a YouTuber, you're definitely gonna wanna go check that out. Or maybe you're just curious and you wanna know how much these YouTubers are making these days. Also, I get mad crazy on Twitter and Instagram, so check it. Gonna put a little boiled linseed oil on here. Some people don't like to oil the bottom. I'm going to anyway. Also gonna do the inside. Some people don't do that. You don't want the inside of it slippery. 
So uh, in a little bit, I'm gonna put a coat of wax on here, but I'm not going to wax on the inside because I, I wanna keep that grip. Also, you probably shouldn't be taking a paper towel and doing this because you're like double dipping, you're getting dirt back in the can. We're breaking all kinds of rules. You know why? Because we're having fun. We're having fun. Last thing we need to do is put the blade in here, bevel side down, put our wedge in here, and we'll, we'll see that the blade does not come through the bottom here. So all we gotta do, we just gotta file this away until there's just a little sliver of air between the blade and the wood. Just a little bit at a time. It's real easy to go too far. So I got the blade to come through on the bottom. So I'm going to set the blade in here, put in my wedge. You can tap on that with a handle or sometimes just thumb pressure. We'll get it to go. Just barely sticking out. And I'm gonna round over the edge here. I love using the block plane to round over edges. Yeah, look at that. Could use this as a smoothing plane as well. The great thing about a black plane is you can use it one-handed. So peeps are always telling me to not set my plane's blade down on my workbench. I'm just having fun, people. I'm just having fun. Besides, if you lay your planes down on the side like they're suggesting, that exposes the blade. I can potentially nick my finger on that. I'd rather not cut myself and sharpen more. Sharpen only takes a few minutes. Don't let anybody tell you to not have fun. So the little block plane that you've been seeing me use in my videos over the past couple years, that actually comes from the block plane kit from Hawk Tools. And the kit comes with instructions and all the pieces you need pre-cut. So basically all you have to do is, is glue it up and it comes with the blade. Highly recommended. If you wanna get into plane making, just go grab this off of Amazon. There'll be a link down below. Ron Hawk also has a book called The Perfect Edge. It's all about sharpening. You're not gonna find anything that's more in depth about sharpening than this book. And of course, we live in a world where I have to say this isn't sponsored by Hawk Tools. I'm, I just like this stuff and I'm letting you guys know about it. That's all this is. So here are the planes I currently have. The guy that we just made, the, the little block plane that I made, Wood River number four. This is a smoothing plane that I made a long time ago. Scott Meek, he is one of the best wood plane makers in the world. I took one of his classes and it's super, super ugly and very uncomfortable to use. I mean, I tried to come up with my own design and, and, I, and I failed. That is a monster, ugly plane. Nice ash planes. So Rhett Fulkerson of Nice Ash Planes sent me this, this big number six. Basically all I ever use this for is about once a year, I flatten my workbench with this. Then I have this Craftsman block plane, this rusty block plane to restore, which I never did. So that's my hand plane collection. Have you guys seen my shop tour video? It's done in the style of MTV Cribs. It's one of the favorite videos I've ever made. If you haven't seen that, check that out. As always, have fun, be passionate, and make something. So this is my table saw. This is where the magic happens. This is the center of my workshop. All right, this is my table saw outfit table. You might remember the video. Let's take a look in the drawer in here. Oh, wait, let me see if we're cool. All right, we cool? Check that out, that's just a mess. Look at all these clamps. This is my router mounted in a router table. All the real makers out there, they got the router table lift. Can't live without that. Check that out. We're having fun.